Hello all, we are the team Give Virtual 5, also known as Team 15. We are going to speak about why data science is useful in QA. Please meet us in person. We are Daria, Vladimir, Olga, Georgi, Alice and Luber. It's a bit sad now that our cool team will survive only a single assignment. But nevertheless, here we are. What is data science? It's a baby term which appeared not long ago. The story of how data science became sexy? Yes, surprisingly that's the attribute mostly used with the data science and corresponding profession. So, the story of how data scientists became sexy is mostly the story of the coupling of the mature discipline of statistics with a very young one, computer science. The term data science has emerged only recently to specifically designate a new profession that is expected to make sense of the vast stores of big data. But making sense of data has a long history and has been discussed by scientists, statisticians, librarians, computer scientists and others for years. The following timeline traces the evolution of the term data science and related terms. So, it took about 50 years for the data science term to be shaped. The author of a short article, Should Testers Learn Data Science, Sophie Brook says, by becoming knowledgeable about data science, testers can elevate their skills and improve their testing abilities with new tools and methods. She mentions five reasons to apply data science to QA activities, which we consider in our presentation. Here they are. Classification, anomaly detection, forecasting, clustering and reasoning. Hi, my name is Georgi and I'm going to speak about forecasting and regression testing. First of all, let me draw an analogy about finding defects. Finding defects is similar to fishing. You never have time to scan whole ocean, but defects come like a fish in a groups. There are some areas where there are many and some where there are none of them. And the idea is to use past test data and feed it to machine learning system algorithm, which will then predict the most risky components of application. And then testers can target their resources to the places where they see the most return. You never have time to test everything and data science can help you to reduce risks and save your time. As testers, we need to look into logs and get useful information to answer particular questions. But problem is in time, we have lots of data but less time. This problem could be solved by using data mining techniques. Also, when we write test cases, we test how software is supposed to behave and there is no real data with us. So some of the test cases might never be used in real life and that missed test cases might be the most important ones. To avoid this and save many hours, we can dynamically write test cases based on a user interaction by mining their logs. Hi, my name is Vladimir and I would like to tell you about classification. Classification is about learning how to make predictions from past examples. By learning the classification algorithms, testers can eventually get a system that will automatically determine error types and pinpoint error causes. If you have no idea how to classify, you play some kind of guess who game for any issue you face. On the other hand, even if you have the metrics for classification, but they are wrong, you will have incorrect results, just like Adina. But if you create a good classification system with the correct metrics, you will have the powerful tool which significantly reduces effort required for further analysis. Hello all. I'm Spasibo Olga and I'm going to tell about the third reason why data science is useful in QA. The third reason is anomaly detection. Testers can obtain highlighted patterns in vast amounts of unstructured data and easily identify some events or unexpected system behavior. Anomaly detection is applicable in a variety of domains such as intrusion detection, fraud detection, fall detection, system health monitoring, invent detection in sensor networks, and detecting system disturbances. All of listed domains are applicable for QA sphere. Besides, anomaly detection is often used in pre-processing to remove anomalous data from the dataset. 
In supervised learning, removing the anomalous data from the dataset often results in a statistically significant increase in accuracy. Hi, I'm Daria and I will talk about clustering. Clustering is the process of organizing a group of abstract objects into classes of similar objects. There are many ways to group data, depending on the number of groups we want to get at the end, or on where we draw the line of what we call similar behaviors. Defect clustering has been used in software testing for a long time. As per the Pareto principle, the relevance of defect clustering relies on the supposition that most defects are caused by a small number of modules, that is, about 80% of faults come from about 20% of modules. Structuring data using clustering makes it easier to find solutions to similar problems, run diagnostics, and maintain robust process analytics capabilities. On top of the immediate value, looking at historical data accumulated via clustering, one can reveal recurring patterns as well as completely new events and expose larger issues. The fifth reason to apply data science to QA profession is reasoning. The final goal of data science is to learn to create reasoning patterns similar to those of humans. This is done by looking not only at trends and events, but at event sequences and by extracting the causality once some steps are similar to an existing pattern, the next step can be determined. Testers can use this approach to create scripts that can be the base for intelligent machinery, such as, such as Exact Pro Next Generation Test Tools. By learning sequences, these tools can be able to mimic reasoning in a way that is not only convincing, but safe for humans to be around. So we have walked through the five main reasons to apply data science to create profession. Thank you for your attention. Is it the end? No, we hope it's only the beginning.